All right. Um, we are doing part two of a video that, uh, when I asked a question about basically how sound works kind of at all and how we do anything with sound. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the part two on this and we're going to do a lot of fun little projects. It looks like. Yeah. We got more projects. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you asked me whether, how sound gets into wires. I thought you meant like uh, transducer wise and you were talking interference wise. So. Yeah. But uh, we'll do an interference one, but right now we'll we're doing a work on transducer wise. Um, so we brought up so there were some cool things I think I brought up or you brought up as well in the last one. Um, you know about at the playground where you talk into the yeah. tubes, and we have now there's kind of three different things. So I want to separate those okay. out. Um, you don't remember it, but years ago when you went on an airplane and you had headsets that came with the airplane, mm -hmm. Was they were just air tubes and they would plug in and they were just hollow plastic tubes. There was no electronics and sound would come out of two little holes in the seat uh, armchair and it would be like coming out and then you'd plug in this air tube and the sound would travel these air tubes and into your ears and there was no wires. What? Yeah. <laughs> What would they send through those tubes? Well, the music would be coming out the hole in the. So people, this would just be. And you could oh change channels, gosh. and it would just take different sound would come out of those. <laughs> so there would be like a speaker wow. in here, and the speaker would blow into the air tubes. That's insane. This is all making like a lot more sense, I guess, with how we ended up with the original sound producers and how we ended up at like electronic cables and it's stuff. It's been a long slow process. Yeah because it yes. just seems like it's like how did we figure this out? How did we figure out that sound would travel through cables but this is making it is more long, sense. Yeah, yeah. So, so old airplanes had tubes and the sound insane. would travel through air tubes. Um, you, we can probably look that up. I don't yeah. have any. I wish I'd saved them. I threw them all the way. I used to like <laughs> Um, wow. And then it was a big deal when they came up with like mini plugs. You could plug your headphones in. Yeah. And when airplanes first did it, oh, they used to sell you the tubes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And because they could, again, you had no way of using them, and nobody had headphones. Yeah. Like very few people oh. had headphones back then, and all the headphones had big quarter inch jacks. Yeah. So, in any case, that's an acoustical transmission. Yeah. Where you have an acoustical source. Acoustic source. It's traveling in the air. Mm -hmm. And then it's going into a tube and it stays acoustic the whole time. So that's like the playground when you talk yeah. into the tube. It's just staying acoustic the entire yeah, time. Got it's it. not a transfer of energy. Mm -hmm. Then we have what we did in the last video where we did. No. Then we have like a record player. Yeah. Where you have an acoustic source, it gets dug in with a needle mm -hmm. into the record player, goes to a mechanical thing. Mm -hmm. And then the mechanical thing, then something rides on it and changes it back to electrical, like we did with that old 1800s. Um, so phonograph. Or gramophone. Graphophone. Gra 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 graphophone, yeah. Well, that's, that's acoustic, mechanical, acoustic. Yeah, okay. Instead of acoustic, acoustic, acoustic. Acoustic, got it. Um, and that's what we're going to do with these. Mm-hmm. But, and then the finally, then you go, to, then you get the next progression, which is acoustic, electric, acoustic, uh -huh. which is what I did with the speaker and you put the headphones on. And it travels Or we tra cable. transferred it from mechanical energy to an electric, uh, to a piece of wire. Yeah. And then back from a wire to another transducer. Yeah. And so let's go ahead and do. Um, cheers. Oh, cheers. Let's do a cheers. Let's do a cheers. Good. Excited to learn about how the heck a twine can uh, yeah, let's transfer. Have... Okay, sound. so for this, let's um, yeah, poke. yeah, poke a hole in there. You got your hole started. Okay, next you want here. to. I never did this when I was a kid. You I'm never very did excited. this when you were a kid. This is great. We had cell phones. <laughs> yes. Um, so you want to try and get as much of the twine in there as possible. And then once you get it in, yeah, pull it through. Are we going to like put a knot in it? Yeah, put a knot in it. Should, does it have to be at the end or no, can it, it be really here? Matter. Okay, because I feel like we are going to be kind of close. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can okay. I pull it tight? Yep, yeah, pull it back out. Okay, now. Okay. Um, we made our twine too long. So I think, I'm, then we'll do another knot. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, I think the point is going longer distances. Yes. 
you can already hear that these things are yeah, really loud. Yeah, I mean, they're <laughs> amplifying for Yeah, they're sure. kind of like little speakers, huh? Okay. Okay. Put it here. Oh, oh my god. Do you touch me? Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so go ahead and go over there a little bit, and I'll hold this up to the speed, the thing. Hello, hello, hello. You're talking into the red solo cup. Okay, keep talking, and I'll move it away so you hello, can. Hello, hello, hello. You're talking into the red solo cup, and it will hopefully produce some sound. Yeah, twine somehow. A little less tight. Oh, a little less tight. Hello, hello, hello. Just barely snug. Just barely snug, guys. Hi. We are testing the sound source. We are testing the sound source. We are testing. Perfect. Wow. All right. That's so, so crazy. So this is acoustic. And what's happening is, it should be, we do it. If you don't pull these out, mm. you know, and you get it. Let's try it one more time. You just keep it very, hey, hey, hey. You get a little more fidelity there. Yeah. If you get it just right. Hey, hey, hey. Too. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what's happening is, we're talking into this. It's gently wiggling this diaphragm. <laughs> this side is vibrating. The vibration's traveling along. Hold, hold it a little bit tight. Oh, that's crazy. It's moving along this, wiggling the other one, and the sound's coming out. So it's going acoustic, So this is a weird, acoustic. crappy speaker. <laughs> but is, that's being Without moved, going electric. Without Yeah, without the electrical source being moved. Yeah. But the diaphragm's kind of the bottom of the red solo cup. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. So that's kind of <laughs> cool, right? So now let's go the step further. We did the acoustic, moving acoustic... Moving from playground to uh, we're, we're, schoolyard. Yeah. <laughs> now we'll go to... Um, we did acoustic, electric acoustic, but we, I mentioned that, um, when you move a coil of wire near a magnet, it creates electricity. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> let's not take any assumptions here. Let's okay. check everything out. So for that, what I've got is a magnet. Oh. Oh. Okay. Big block of big magnet. Big blocky magnet. That's a big magnet. And then what I've got here, this is, this Precarious. here is, yep. Yeah, this magnet is sticking to everything. Here's a coil of wire, mm -hmm. and I've got attached to this coil of wire, I've got two sets of clip leads. One set of clip leads is attached to these headphones, okay. and the other set is attached to this player over here, this recorder, so that I'll be able to record the sound, because the sound coming out of the headphones won't be very loud. Got it. But I'll record it so I can put it into the video. Yeah, got it. Um, so go ahead and put those headphones on. And hang on. See, sure, we're all hooked up here. I'm not hearing anything. <laughs> you, okay, you let me hear? see. Listen. Yeah, it's coming out this year. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, it's just a lot quieter than I was looking for. Yeah, I can hear it. Oh, wow, that's insane. Yeah, okay. Oh, it almost feels like, yeah, yeah, just like the littlest touch. Yeah, but it is creating. But it's there, yeah. It's an electric pole. So what's happening is this coil of wire moving in and out of this magnetic field. And it is, won't do it, it won't do it just by jostling this wire. The wire is, oh, wow. It's the. Okay. That's a great point. That's crazy. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? So this creates a magnetic field, and when you change, and this is kind of a magnetic field. A coil of wire acts yeah, like a magnetic yeah, field okay. sensor, Which is and something when you move I it in and out of magnetic understand. field, it's sensing the magnetic field, putting shifting, some voltage. It's shifting it so it creates voltage. Yeah. Now, theoretically, that should happen too. Where if we took like a nine volt battery and we put it to this oh. coil, it should want to jump, and we can actually do that too. Because if you take a 9-volt battery, put it on a coil of wire, if you take a nail and wrap an insulated coil of wire yeah. around and put a battery on it, it'll turn into a magnet. Yeah, I know that, but not from experience, just knowledge. Right. So that's another thing we could do. That's yeah. a, so. And this is where we turn into a science channel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's crazy. And that right there that's is the basis of sound. all dynamic speakers and microphones. Uh -huh. kind of fun yeah i mean like it's insane that it's in i, I mean it, it's really hard to grasp as to how 
it interacts in that way in the same way that like I can understand okay we got the string I can understand that it's like the moving of the Mm -hmm. diaphragm and that's the amplification of sound it's how (laughs) you know like what what but I mean yeah that's crazy it's insane that we figured this out it's insane how much magnets are actually kind of awesome awesome (laughs) yeah and like a part of everyday wonders Yes, and they're extremely, and those are the simplest speakers. Now, there are yeah. other types of speakers or microphones and transducers where they deal with capacitance as well, because there's a whole other realm mm-hmm. where if you take um, two metal plates and you put them next to each other, mm-hmm. they have the ability to act as a capacitor, which What's has a capacitor? Some, a capacitor has the ability to do several things. One is it has the ability to hold a very uh, an electrical charge for a short, short period okay. of time, like a little real fast short-term battery. Got it. Okay. And another okay. effect that it has is that it prevents low frequencies because the plates aren't touching. Low mm-hmm. frequencies won't go through it, mm-hmm. but high frequencies can jump across. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kind of. Kind They're of, able yeah. to, um, which gets into kind of interference question, which we started with. So... Um, you can create a capacitive microphone where you have two metal plates next to each other oh, wow. and you build a circuit that looks at the capacitance. Mm. And if the capacitance gets greater or less, mm-hmm. then it looks at the difference in capacitance and that's the sound. So the music vibrates them and as the two <laughs> plates get closer together, they increase their capacitance. So they get farther apart, they decrease their capacitance. Yeah. And you can create a circuit so that it picks up music that way. <laughs> and that's the way condenser microphones work. Oh, Oh, okay. That was actually another question that I had, but I don't know if we should keep that for a different Yeah, period. I don't know that much about all that stuff. I mean, I kind of know, yeah. but um, maybe that's best left for a physics person. Yeah. But I can give the practical crazy. side of yeah. stuff. Yeah, that's so... I. It, it's incredible that we were able to figure any of this out. Like, what? <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, this is crazy. There's some smart people there's out there. There's some smart people out yeah. there. It's very cool. Um. Wow. Yeah, I've got those. Uh, we should get that horn sometime. We can do one with that horn. I've got a horn mm-hmm. that um, upstairs at the top of the stairs, that real old one from the 20s. Mm-hmm. That's got a really neat speaker in it. Yeah, let's look at that. we got to do some speaker dissections in a future video, maybe. We can do that. We can tear some speakers Sean. apart. Um, all right. So let's see. Any more aspects of that? I mean, yeah, but like, I think that not for this video. Okay. <laughs> I think my uh, questions might be a little more existential. Um, <laughs> All than right. Practical. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I understand a lot more than I did before. And this is crazy. It's insane. I, I Speakers? Wild. Now I kind of know how they're wild. So <laughs> that's what I'll say. All right. All right, cool. Well, All we're right. going to have more videos like this, so. Cool. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, thank you, Dad. It's great hanging out with you. Yeah, same. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Yeah, I know. We, <laughs> like we... over there in the mm-hmm, living room. <laughs> mm-hmm. it's, a bit, it's a bit of ways. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you all for joining and uh, hanging out with Sammy and I. <laughs> cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs>